I'm so excited. Stick to me. Obelisk. Oh, obelisk. I'll put the word on the screen. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. My name is Andrea. If you're new here and if you are, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And to my OG subscribers, thanks for tuning back in and welcome back to another video. So, today we're talking stone. My favorite in the world, marble. So as you guys know, or if you're new, I have been obsessed with marble for ever. Viola Calicutta marble is at the top of the list and I have been buying little pieces here and there of a huge slab because I haven't been able to commit. It's just very, very pricey. So I've been buying things like coasters and bases to kind of appease my appetite. But guys, I finally got a table. But that's not the best part. I found it on Facebook Marketplace for $50. Okay, let me get myself together. So the kicker is, I actually picked it up this morning before this video. It wasn't even supposed to be in this video, but I woke up extra early. I had to travel a little bit to get it, but okay. Let me backtrack a little bit. So yesterday I was scrolling on Facebook Marketplace and this post just came up. I didn't even search anything. It was just kind of on my news feed. You know, they kind of curate your search to what you haven't searched for before. So the post read vintage marble table or something like that. I immediately recognized this marble. I needed it. I looked at the price. It said $50. I had to do Kind of like a double take because $50 for Viola Marble? Are you serious? <laughs> like, do y'all mean $500? Do you mean $5,000? Because like I said, this stone is very coveted. It is very pricey and everybody just wants it in their home. So I immediately put in an offer. Usually I try to be like, oh, they want 50, let me offer 40. No, I just put in 50 because I'm, I'm not playing no games. I want this table. It's an amazing price. I will never find this again in life. And I kind of started panicking because <laughs> the seller, I'm so out of breath, <sighs> so excited. So I started kind of panicking because the seller didn't reply for like four hours. Like I even reached out to one of my other friends. I was like, hey, can you kind of put in an offer for this um, to see if they reply to you? So my friend got a reply right away, which kind of pissed me off, like really? But then I went to go check my messages and I had a reply as well. Whew. They were like, hey, when can you come get it? I said, ASAP, I can come in the morning. Bet. She was like, okay, just reach out to me in the morning. I'll give you my address. So I woke up to a Facebook message. She sent the Addy and I got in the Caddy. <laughs> no, I don't drive a Cadillac, but y'all know I'm a lyricist at this point. I got in my car, went to go get it. Y'all, I, and I was really nervous. Like I wasn't trying to get too excited because it just seemed too good to be true. I, I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I just, like, this cannot be real. Like, $50 for this table, I, I can't believe it. So like I said, I had to travel a little ways. It was about 40 minutes from my house, and I got there. It was sitting outside, and was so, y'all, so beautiful, even better than the pictures. I just cannot believe it. I had to kind of contain myself because I ain't gonna hold you, she didn't really know what it was. <laughs> like, she was kind of talking to me a little bit and she was just like, yeah, I don't know if it's marble. In my head, I'm like, definitely marble, Viola Calicutta to be exact. And she's like, it could be granite. I'm thinking, definitely not. Then she goes, on the bottom it says made in Italy, but I don't even know if it's real. And I'm like, really expensive. <laughs> but like I said, I had to play it cool because if she knew what I knew, that price 
probably wouldn't went up or she probably wouldn't want to sold it. So I got it in my car, I got it up here, and I'm so freaking excited about it. Like, I cannot explain. Like, I could almost tear up. That's how excited I am about it. Um, and like I told you guys, I had been wanting to treat myself to this marble plinth table that everyone seems to have in their homes. I was kind of pumping my brakes a little bit about it because I didn't want what everybody has. Plus, like I said, it's on the high end of the spectrum price wise. I'm so glad I waited. Now, this table did come with a base, but it's very traditional. So I'm gonna either repurpose legs of a different table and put it on there. I'm thinking some kind of like a black sleek, just something that's very understated so it doesn't take away from the marble. And also the top of the table is like vintage shaped, if that makes sense. Like there's curves, there's a little bit of a point where the curves kind of meet. And I was thinking worst case scenario, I can get somebody to maybe like smooth it out. But then I was like, no, I actually kind of like it. I like how it looks kind of vintage and kind of traditional. I kind of like how that will look up against the modernness. Modernness? Is that a word? how modern the rest of my decor usually tends to be. So the vintage kind of traditional aspect will be a good juxtaposition in my space. So yeah, I'm just so, so excited about it. And also I recently watched Open Door AD with Jeremiah and Nate and their island in their kitchen has some of those curves and it looks so good in that space. They do a lot of old and new as well, which is my vibe so yeah we're definitely keeping it the same just changing the legs and i saved a lot of coins okay like the table that i want is over two thousand dollars you do the math it's so substantial it's almost as tall as me heavy af and i'm just so grateful that i found it like thank you Okay, so next up, still talking about bold marble. I have been so into red, reddish orange, travertine, and mar <laughs> marble lately. It just looks so good in every space I see it. Catherine, I keep saying, why do I keep wanting to call this lady Catherine? Athena Calderon shared a post where she showed these like reddish, orangish, um, orangish, travertine a sculpture she found at an estate sale and they looked so good when i saw that it kind of triggered a manifestation on accident in my head because i went to the crate and barrel outlet not even looking for anything like that and zoom i found these so these are crate and barrels I don't know if it's CB2 or Crate and Barrel. You know, they're like sister stores and the outlet kind of blended them both. But um, I'll share it on the screen because it's actually still in stock on the site. It's just not at the price that I got them at because I got them at 50%. But these are candle holders and y'all, I'm so in love. I love how bold they are, but they're still kind of neutral because they're not like, bam, in your face, if that makes sense. Like, I'm gonna have to show it on the side so the light doesn't get in the way but you can see how porous some of the spots are like it's diff uh -oh. time up. there are all these different shades of orange and red you got some creams in there i really really love this like i said i've been seeing it all over pinterest ever since i saw it that one time on um athena calderon's instagram and i just love it in every space i can't wait to put this up also this is a really good tone for fall y'all know i don't really do pumpkins or ghosts or anything like that i don't really do seasonal decor but bringing in like these kind of tones will really make my space feel like fall without me having to commit to that kind of decor that makes sense like i can keep these up all year round and nobody will say anything. So yeah, love these. I got the small one for $34.99 and the big one for $44.99. Like I said, they were 50% off at the outlet, but they are in stock last time I checked on the site if you absolutely have to have them, but they're at full price, just be warned. So next up, I found something at Home Goods, of course, and it is this Onyx Obelisk, o Obelisk. I'll put the word on the screen. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, but I got so excited when I found this because Onyx, especially like Home Goods Onyx, is usually really green and really orange like all the time. Like, actually I have a piece, let me show you. 
So this is a piece I found at Home Goods as well. It's Onyx too. And you see how much orange and how much green is in this. Like every time I see Onyx at Home Goods or TJ Maxx or Marshalls, it's usually in this color variation, like a lot of sages. And it's just very, very warm. And I, I like it so much by itself, but in my space, Hated it. It just doesn't fit into my aesthetic. Like, well, actually, it doesn't look that bad in here, but I don't know. It's just something about it. I can't, usually, I can style around anything, but this just always seems to kind of stick out like a sore thumb. So I tend to not get these anymore. But this kind of vibe, like how it has some whites, creams, very warm um, browns and a little bit of that terracotta color. This is more my vibe, like cool and warm tones and I just love it so, so much. It was only $19.99, had to grab it up and these look so good. You can literally stick this anywhere just to bring some height to a space or just some visual interest in something that's otherwise kind of bland. So yeah, had to get this. Love it, love it, love it. Now green marble is actually another marble type. Yeah, marble type, that's what we're gonna say. It's another marble type that I can't seem to just walk away from. Like, I feature it a lot here in my bedroom. It's kind of my accent color, if you will. Um, so when I saw this, I had to get it. It is this green marble ring. It actually came on a stand, but I actually like to use these more on top of books instead of the stand, because I feel like it's more distracting on the stand. So this is actually sitting on a stack of books on my console table. You guys will see that soon in my bedroom refresh. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. But the veining in this is just crazy. Like, you get this stark white stripe right here, and I just love it so, so much. Like I said, I love green marble. I love pretty much anything green because to me, it represents growth, health, wealth, just all the good things. And yeah, I just had to grab it up. This was only $24.99. Green marble looks so good. Like honestly, paired with any solid color, especially like an earth tone or even something kind of bright, it just looks so, so good. I. I haven't seen a space that had green marble that I didn't like, so that says a lot. So yeah, I had to get him. He's very versatile. You can put him on the stand if you like and put it on a bookcase. But like I said, I like to just kind of sit this on a stack of books, on a console table, or on my coffee table. Like I have that black ring in there. So yeah, had to get it. And last but not least, I got another green marble piece. A hey, that rhymed. But it is this green marble tray, and I couldn't pass it up. It was only $16.99 at Home Goods, and trays like this go for well over that online or anywhere else you see it. Like, I had to get it. You cannot be that price. I have a narrow, oh, you can't see it. Yeah. I have a more narrow green marble tray on my nightstand on this side of the bed, um, but honestly, that just kind of holds like knickknacks like my chapstick and my um, wick trim trimmer and snuffer because it's very narrow. But with this one, I have the surface area. That's what I was looking for. I have the surface area to put a snack in here or a little cup of chai or matcha if I want to and just kind of feast in bed. So I couldn't pass it up. Like I said, the price was amazing. And yeah, it's just a no-brainer. These are like staple pieces. I feel like every home needs some kind of tray. So I don't know about y'all. I don't eat at a table. I don't even have a dining table here in my apartment. And I rarely eat at my island. Um, usually eating on the couch or in here if I really feel tired. I try not to eat in bed, but sometimes I it just be one of those days, okay? Like Aunt Flo, yeah, I'm in the bed. So yeah, and it came with these little felt pads too, which I thought were cool. Um, so it doesn't scratch up your surface, whatever you're putting it on. And you don't even have to use this to eat on. You can put these, like I've told you guys before, put these in your bathroom, put all your little like cosmetics and things to kind of make it more aesthetically pleasing. You can honestly use this anywhere, like legit. So 
Yep. Okay, guys, that is it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some time with me. This was so exciting for me. I hope you guys loved it too. I hope they inspired you to actually kind of wait on some things if you can and just thrift, guys. Like Facebook Marketplace, I have found so many gems on there. Like some of my best pieces in my home are from Facebook Marketplace, very surprisingly. So, yeah, there's that. Thanks so much. For I just said that. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Hit that subscribe button, that notification bell if you haven't. Take care of yourselves, those around you, and your mental health. And I will see you guys in my next video. But until then, 